Just like any capacitor, the positive and negative charge there is equal and opposite, so it's plus Q and minus Q. That sets up an electric field here between these uh, two plates. So I'll just draw in some arrows here going between the two plates. That electric field is uniform. We'll write down what its value is in a second. And of course, there's a potential difference between the plates as well, delta V. Okay, so why start with this? Why is this the easiest one? Because we know what the electric field is in between those two plates. We've already seen that it is equal to Q divided by epsilon naught A. That's the electric field between two parallel plates if they're ideal, if this is an ideal capacitor. What does that mean? Well, there are really two different parameters when it comes to the geometry of the capacitor. One of them is the distance between the plates. So I'm going to call that D. And then the other is the actual area of the plates. I'm going to call that A. And in a parallel plate capacitor, A is the same on both plates. And the key thing that for an ideal parallel plate capacitor, we want D to be really, really tiny compared to the size of the plate. So we want the gap between them to be really small. We want the plates themselves to be really big. That ensures a really constant uniform electric field in between and zero electric field outside. Now, if that's the case, if we've got an ideal parallel plate capacitor, this is the electric field in between the plates. Now I'm gonna make two small changes to this equation here. One of them is with this Q right here. I'm gonna use our equation over here defining capacitance. Q, of course, is equal to C times delta V. So I'm gonna replace Q with that. On the other side with the electric field, I'm gonna replace that with the potential difference, which I know for a parallel plate capacitor is equal to, the electric field is equal to delta V uh, of the capacitor divided by the, uh, the distance between the plates D. So that's it, I'm gonna make those two replacements and when I do that, I'll write it out in full here, we'll have delta VC over D equals, I'll put a little C right here too, uh, equals instead of QC, delta VC divided by epsilon naught A. If you're wondering why I keep writing down VC here, that indicates the voltage across the capacitor, that's what the C stands for. But there's one of those on, on each side, right? So they'll cancel out. And if I rearrange this, this is a D rank, if I rearrange this for C, then I get the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor, which is going to be equal to epsilon naught A divided by D. And that's actually an important result.